was yet another mind-bender from the brilliant brain of Christopher Nolan, the perfect way to break my four-month cinema-going hiatus? Stay tuned to find out if it's worth leaving the house and donning a mask to go and see it. We all believe we'd run into the burning building. But until we feel that heat, we can never know. You do. You chose to die instead of giving up your colleagues. That test you passed? Not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife. Starring Robert Patterson and John David Washington, the son of Denzel Washington, Tina tells the fast paced and frequently confusing story of a secret agency working behind the scenes in order to prevent the total obliteration of mankind. Whilst this might sound like your typical action flick, trust me, this movie is very far from that. This is mostly thanks to the clever use of time manipulation and other forms of typical Nolan trickery to constantly catch the viewer off guard. You soon start to realize that Tenet is the type of movie that would definitely benefit from a rewatch or six, especially because some of the later scenes provide very important context and clarity to some of the happenings earlier on in the film. Although this in itself makes for a fascinating film, it did unfortunately feel like that the film uses the excuse of don't worry, this will make a lot more sense later on, way too frequently. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for films that don't constantly hold the viewer's hands. But in saying that, there is a fine balance between being clever and being confusing. And I honestly felt that I was more confused than engaged for way too many scenes in this film. And yes, although I'm sure that watching the film again will result in a lot of awesome aha moments, I'm honestly not particularly excited to see the film again. The reason for this is that in between all of the mind-bending plot devices, there is a surprising amount of action film cliches, and this makes it very difficult to commit to the film emotion. Some of the most noticeable of these cliches include a painfully cheesy Bond-like antagonist, as well as a noticeably underdeveloped female support that felt very forced into the main story arc. Because of this, the film's romantic subplot felt ironically quite slapped on and to be honest, a lot better developed amongst the male characters of the movie. This led to some of the motivations for some of the later actions of some of the cast feeling quite poorly justified. This is not to say that the film doesn't deliver from a sheer spectacle perspective with amazing fight scenes and brilliant cinematography. I also really enjoyed Patterson and Washington's on-screen chemistry, resulting in some of the film's most memorable moments. In summary, Tenet is definitely far from a bad night out, but in saying that, I don't feel that it was one of Nolan's best. Who knows, maybe if it was directed by another director, I would have been more forgiving, but I definitely don't feel that it lives up to Nolan standards. Nevertheless, definitely worth a solid 7 out of 10 meerkats. If you've managed to watch the film yourself, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below.